Hey guys, it's Ben from Idiots Play Games, and today I've got the Crossed Worlds box with me. Um, we managed to snag it early, um, and yeah, that's about it. Uh, this set's gonna be really amazing, you know, especially that we got it pretty early. And yeah, let's get right into it. Um, I'm planning on playing Mirror this format. I reckon Mirror's gonna make a huge impact on on this uh, on the format right now. Especially that we have, you know, all these new black cards and everything. I'm hoping to pull a few of the, um, what are they called? D Dimension Breaker mirrors? Because I want to see how many I can get for this deck. I think I currently have two right now from um, opening a few of the packs during tournaments. But yeah, another few cards that I really want to get is that uh, the Colifer. Because that thing's like just a untapping, no not untapping, quick awakening card is what, for green, oh yeah, and especially with Kale, so let's get right into it, hoping to get an SCR as well, but we'll see what happens, I actually didn't sort out a bin, get it on the side there, whoa, holy shit, Holy shit. What did you pull? Yeah! Straight off the fucking Woo! bat. Holy shit. Wow. Like, th th like, this isn't even framed whatsoever. Okay, so if you guys don't know this, this is the SCR. So, you know, you only can play one of these. This comes in like one every single five boxes. Cool shotgun. It's called Hyper Evolution Super Saiyan 4 Sun Goku. And it reads... Uh, so you can evolve it for one mana, one red mana. You have to place two cards from your hand into the drop over a uh, Goku GT, which, you know, we'll get there as well. Um, a Goku GT with six or more. Uh, six cost or more. So I think there's like six targets for it, really. Um, and yeah, so... Fire, I did not expect that. You can only play one of it in the deck, and when this card attacks, it gains 5k, so it's a 40k. It's only single strike, but if it has 60k or more, it deals damage every single time. And also, you can drop two cards from your hand to give it, um, a two, uh, like, put it into active mode. Far out, like, far out. <laughs> I, didn't Good way to start the video. I had to, like, warm myself up into it. All right, well, you know, you can click away from the video now if you don't care about anything else. But yeah, um... Amazing card, a lot of people saying you can bring this out turn two with uh, Mecha Freezer because you go like Objection, Objection, uh, Monarcha, and then like chuck a few beans down and evolve it into, um, evolve it from a Grand Tour. But yeah. All right. Let's go into the boring cards now. So we've got a Furious Rush. It's like a dual attack and it attacks for the first time it attacks. Um, Planet Vegeta can be really good for the new monkey deck. Powering Absorbing Lude. Uh, it's like a, a 25k double strike, but you need to get a, um, a pan under it, which you can get from drop, which is fair enough. 10k pump, really strong card. There's a really good combo um, with this where you like put a, uh, what's it called? Spirit Goku. And um, so when you combo with this, instead of um, drawing a card, when you have four left life, you play a sane with three costs or less. So there's pretty much one where you can like combo and then like put it onto the field and it pops something that's in resting mode. And same as this one here. So this is the new black one. The new black one states, um, if you have five cards in the warp, you can combo with it and draw. So you can even do that if you're unawakened. And we've got a lot of the new boo support. Um, this new Android, this new Android is actually pretty good. Um, when I was considering playing it over Gotenks because you can just drop this and not attack. Like, just milling your opponent's hand. Um, one drop pan, who cares? Haru Haru, who cares? This thing, who cares? It's like a free drop over a, a Goku. And we've got Power Absorbing Margin Boo. Yeah. Um, and this, like, this will see a lot of support with the new, all the new boo cards. Uh, let's sleeve that one up too. Far out. <laughs> Take up and go out. <laughs> yeah, Throw the box pretty much. Fucking hell. 
You can, you can bleep that out, Sean. No. <laughs> All right, let's go into the second one. So I got the new Goku leader. He's all right. He searches a bulma on this side, then on this side he like rests things. It's kind of strong. This card sucks. Uh, oob. I see this scene play in pan. Um, it's a three cost twenty k, which with double strike. But if you think about it with pan, it's a twenty five k double strike for like for three mana. So you curve that out in turn three. Very strong. Uh, this is I think the best Kai that you can get out of them, all of them. Like to evolve over into a boo because I think one of them evolves. Not this one. No, is it this one? Yeah, this one. Pretty much you can give uh, evolve this over this for four mana. Is it four mana or three? Yeah, four mana. And give it critical. The other ability doesn't really matter. Uh, this is part of the Dr. Miyu uh, stuff. Like, yeah, they're, they're very niche, very not that great. Kakarot, when you combo with this, put it at the bottom of your deck. Kind of sucks. Flying Nimbus. Pretty much the best new negate of the format. So this negates the attack, and then they can only attack with one other card for the turn. So like it stops aggro right in its tracks. New 10k combo. This one's like Jaco. Um, when you combo with this, you um, if there's nothing in your opponent's combo zone, you draw a card. But if it's the like if you're attacking with it, you just get the draw. But um, if it's defending, like, you know, it adds back, like, their 10Ks and everything. Um, we've got Dreadful Duo Android 17. Um, this can be really strong for the new Android deck, I really think. Um, because it's, like, a 15K critical. And it also, like, drops the other, like, Android 18s from hand if you destroy something with... I think it's three or less. Yeah, three or less on the field. Pan. Oh, we got our first foil, which is Hidden Power Great Ape Torah. I kind of like the, this card, but like I've been testing with it a little bit. It's actually not too powerful. Um, like with the Torah, you can drop it for free if your opponent has two cards in hand. Um, and I think this one reads well. It's a blocker, which is really good because you kind of want to just use all the great apes as blockers because they untap with Planet Vegeta during your turn at the end of the battle. After you combo with this, you can choose one Torah. So like you combo with it, it goes straight on the Torah for free. When this card evolves. Um, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards in rest mode and KO. So it's like, it's okay, but I don't see it being too great. And we've got Dauntless Spirit Super Saiyan Vegeta. So it's like a, um, it's, all, it's pretty niche. Um, it's an evolve cost for one, but you have to place a card and drop. Double strike. And then, so when this card attacks, if it goes through, you can drop a card from hand and you can pop, uh, you can make it deal critical. So it's a four cost 20, 20k double strike critical if it connects. Uh, this Grand Kai, he just searches. This, uh, Goku, when you combo with it, um, if your leader is yellow, it comes onto the field. So it's like, you, yellow gets a lot more combo -y stuff. But you can also take a life, so it gives yellow an, a way of awakening. Pride of Justice Topo, it's a, it's a negate. So you can negate the attack and it comes onto the field. Kind of like, uh, like the old King Colds and everything. But it can cost two less if your opponent was 1500 or less. So it gives Reddit like an advantage of being able to like push. It also, if when it kills something, um, it goes back to active mode. So like you can swing down all the tokens. I wouldn't really recommend to play tokens next format. Uh, this card, when you combo with it, it's a 1k 5k, a uh, one drop 5k, one combo 5k. Um, your opponent chooses one of their battle cards and KOs it. So like if they only just have this on the field, they have to KO it very strong. Dark plot. I reckon this will see a lot of play in black decks. I'm definitely running it. Um, you search your WAP for a card that costs four or less and then play it. If it has an overwhelm, you untap three. The Pandable, uh, if you're playing um, Pan, you can drop it free, kind of crap. Um, block a barrier, kind of crap. This card, is this the one that searches? When you play this card, choose one great ape with an energy cost five or less and add it to your hand. So like searches the other big great ape. Rebirth Justice, you can play a card with four or less. Is it, no, five, five or less. Then return something from your opponent's hand. I don't like it. It's like too much neggy for your like for yourself. Uh, this is like your new objection. It's a barrier, but it also has the ability to... Um, you can use this card as mana, so you can just tap it for mana. It's pretty strong. Zamasu, 
Uh, it's a blocker, indestructible barrier, but you can only ever have one on the field. And um, yeah, that's about it for it. And it can't stand, so like it stops one attack, but it's really good for Zamasu because like you can like just leave it on the field and then you drop like the two drop Goku and then that becomes indestructible as well. It looks like we pulled our first SCR, or no, SPR, um, which is unending, what's it called? Unending Destruction Android 13. Um, so you can bring this out for four with the other card if you have two um, Android 14, 15 in the drop, put them under it. And um, this card states when, when your opponent drops a card other than the ability of this card, um, your opponent, if, it, if it's a battle card, they have to drop another card. So it kind of gets rid of all their negates and all their beans and all that from hand. Pretty strong, if you ask me. All right, out of control boo. It's all right, it's just a one cost to evolve into a blue margin boo that costs five or less. Terra Scythe, kind of bad. Uh, I don't even know what this one does. The new Android 14, this one. When you play this card, your opponent chooses one of their battle cards and carries it. If it's a card that costs Three or less, draw a card. Uh, it's all right. Forces them to like pop like their their big things, but at the same time you could just play like what's it um like the promo Goku, a uh, Gohan. This card, they're crap. Dreadful Duo. So that's the the Android eighteen version of it. Um, this card is you can drop a Android eighteen with three or less from hand. Uh, Android seventeen if they kill something with four or, four or more. This is the broken card that everyone's talking about when they first when this first came out. Thinks he's the best Hercule. Um, now the, the card actually only works with just Boo Leader. March of the Apes, kind of strong card. Um, you can summon two like great apes from your hand with four or less, and then draw two. Um, very strong Mecha Freezer because they can just curve that on turn three, and they have like two of these on field, and they've eaten a life, so they're technically drawing three cards for like three mana and playing two. Battle cards, pretty strong. Uh, Dr. Miyu kind of sucks. You knew uh, Boo, Boomer. This card, uh, I don't really see it seeing play. It's not that great. Like, the artwork's all right for it, but it's, um, you can choose a card with five or less and play it from your drop area. It's all right. Ooh, the 10K combo, and we got our first, well, our first, well, the first, um, what's it called? Uh, Bardock, that SR Bardock that I've seen. Um, so it's an EX Evolve, you place two cards from your hand in the drop area and evolve it over a uh, Bardock with an energy cost five or more. Um, there's only like a few right now. Um, it has the permanent, your opponent has, if your opponent has six or more energy, rest uh, in rest mode, this card gains five count, uh, five and at uh, 5k energy, a uh, power and triple strike. So it's really strong, especially with the next effect. When this card evolves into this card, uh, when this card evolves into this card, choose all of your opponent's battle cards and energy and switch it to rest mode. So it like punishes your opponent and like it's just an easy game ender for like yellow. So yeah, I think I'll just start like going through cards now. Just cause like, it feels like we're taking a while to do this. Just point out the ones that are good. Uh, it's a blocker that untaps itself, relentless. This is like the strongest card for hand destruction. So it's a warp three, um, and it drops a card from your opponent's hand, really strong. Nappa goes to 25K if there's two cards rested. That's your new Gawasu for Saiyans. Crap, 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 17. Ooh, Foil Fascia. Fascia is another one of those um, Saiyan cards. It's just a one drop block blocker. Doesn't really matter. And the ape version isn't that good. And then we've got a finishing spirit bomb Sun Goku is our rare. So it's going to evolve for one, place it over a Goku that costs five or more. Double strike. When this card attacks, you can choose up to three of your green energy and um, oh no, in your drop area and combo with it. So like you can combo like your 10k pumps, pretty strong. But it, like as a six cost in a green deck, I don't really see it seeing a lot of play. Okay, so we'll go into our next pack. We had like an audio like an issue. This card, it's all right. This card's all right as well. Um, it like chooses a, I think it's one of your opponent's battle cards and place it under one of your boos. Um, it's from three cost removal for boo, but you just have to get around barrier. 
Barry's gonna suck. Crap, crap, crap. Friendly Justice Gear. You. Uh, if your leader is Bardock, or if you have Bardock on the field, you can drop it for free. Oob, Rebirth, Unwavering, Pan, Android 20. Oh, and create Android. This is gonna be really strong for uh, uh, Mirror, because you can play this for one mana. Draw two cards, drop a card, then swing, and then you can drop like a four over realm. And we got General Rido. So this is like a new uh, board wipe for red. Um, it's a double strike. When you play this card, uh, choose all your opponent's battle cards. They lose 1,000 power for the duration of the turn. Then we, when this card attacks, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with 10k or less and um, carry that card. So it like pops chaos for free just when attacking. But it is a five cost. So it, like we'll see a lot of play, just only certain decks. It's a new Trunks leader. I think this leader is going to be really strong for this format. Um, pretty much Trunks. It's like got the Overrealm, but if you have... You just play as Black Blue, I reckon. Saiyan Goku, we've explained it. This one's an Overrealm for three, but at the end like at the end of the turn, instead of going to the warp, it actually just goes back to your hands. Vegeta, Tora, 18. And you, okay, so this is the new Red Bean. You negate the attack and gain 5k for the turn. I think that's going to see a lot of play. Every single red deck should play four. Crap, 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 crap. Okay, so this is the other um, other spirit bomb. So you've got the green one here, which I didn't really explain um, because of the, the, the cut. When this card attacks, uh, choose up to three of your green battle cards in the drop area and combo with them. So you can combo like your 10Ks and draw off it and everything. This one is... Um, it's a double strike permanent. You cannot count it. Like, you can't negate this attack. And then you can choose up to five of your energy and then combo with it. But it has to be, like, battle cards. So, um, like, if you check all your, like, your 10k pumps, you can just combo it all into that. Like, you can't negate it, and it's pretty much going to be an end game straight on that. Bergamo, crap. Quick Rush. That's going to be all right. Chucking Pan, 20k, two drop. Critical. Crap. Thinks he's the best. Best green negate we have. Uh, if your leader is an Android, drop a card and you can pop something with three or less on field. So it's going to be like anti-green, like anti-green while being green. One drop Vegeta. These things are really nice and foil. This thing's crap, I think. When you play this card, choose up to one of your gods in your battle area. Uh, like, it adds something back to your hand, you don't really like it. This is new Gawasu for um, Androids. Boo, it's a counter attack. Negate the attack, and if your leader is a Majin Boo... Place one card from your hand into the drop area. If you choose, if you do choose one of your boos and one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost three or less, place that chosen card under this. Uh, it's okay. Um, it's a negate for one cost. It's the only blue negate that they got for this. Ah, oh, okay. So that we've got the 10k combo. It's the exact same as the other 10k combo. It doesn't have anything nice except that it's just searchable. We've got our first um first foil of the, of the what's it called? An Imbottomable Spirit Super Saiyan God Goku. It, it's just a double strike with barrier and it has an EX Evolve. It's alright, but I don't really like it that much. And it looks like we've got Bardock Leader. So when this card attacks, you draw. It, when it attacks a leader. But the other side's a bit better. Um, so of course when you attack, you draw. But once per turn, when a Saiyan is KO'd, you get to gain 5k for the turn. So like, if they're like destroying your board, you can kind of like um, benefit off it just by like beaning yourself. And like you just play that blue, like you just run bean with it as well. Um, new broken leader. So this side, if you have no energy, so you don't mana for the turn. If you have no energy, you can drop a card from hand and then choose two of your life and they become mana. You can run this straight green because on the other side, when you, um, at the end of the turn, you can untap three energy. This card, this card that evolves this card, so it also, uh, your opponent has to pop one of their own cards, so it's kind of strong. And uh, Absorption, 14, Dark Plot, Pint Sized, Magical Father, this is alright, it gives all your boos barrier. So if you're not playing a really strong barrier deck, uh, like a boo deck that doesn't play a lot of the barrier cards, this will just give it to him. Got a new boo, Create Android, Margin Boo, Bonable, hey, and we have Colifer. So this card, uh, so pretty much Kale beforehand. Um, whenever Kale, 
Let's just line this up a little bit better. So Kale has to pop something when it comes on the field. With this effect, you don't have to pop from now on. So, um, so with Broly, if you play that, you um, don't actually have to pop anything when you like when Broly attacks. It's kind of strong, but at the same time, you might not see a lot of play. But it does awaken when you play this card. You have like you can choose one card in your energy and add to life. No, not choose. You have to. I'm just gonna separate the rares from the foils. There we are. Just keep that one up on the side. Right, start smashing through these. Block a barrier. So it's kind of like green wiss. Uh, that's not good. Double strike warp four. Crap. 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 Tora. That's the other card. Crap. New new Gawasu for Boo. So Boo cards. Crap. This this is like a one cost search. Uh, um, search a mirror or what's it called? Mirror or Marseille. So like it's it will see it's staple for every single black deck. Uh, when you combo with this, you can add a Goku with 5k or less to hand. So you add like the Gokus that draw. And we've got Final Explosion. When this card attacks, choose up to 5 of your opponents. Uh, cost to up to 5, and then KO them. Kind of strong, then goes to the bottom of your deck. But at the same time. So we've got Bardock, Great Ape, is alright. New Android Leader, Android 13. Um, awakens at 6 if you have Android 15 and 14 in the drop. Got a new, another 10k combo. Fire it up. Just gonna, ooh, 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 foil topo, hey. Sexy. Yeah. <laughs> that's kind of like, that. that's like the foil you want. Like that's, that's the foil and mirror leader. This has been a solid box. Yeah, it really has been, hey. So like we've got three so far and that, so we should still get three more SRs in this. Um, so mirror, if you have a green card in drop area or on the battle, you draw a card. It's also yellow as well, but you only play it green. Um, and then, oh, you mill two when you attack. And this side gains critical if you have five or more on the warp, which you definitely do at that point. All right, last side for this side. What last one for this side? Start powering through them. Bodyguard Legic, good for turn one. I think a lot of like control red decks will play this. Um, it's like you, you can tap a tap this and one of your energy, I think. No, you just rest this and you, it makes your opponent or one of their battle cards lose 5k. 10k combo. This is 10k combo for green. It drops a card from their opponent's hand. Times judgment. You can discard two cards from hand and then you can um, discard two cards from hand and you can add this back to hand. It's all right. Bardock, Grand Tour, and you got Pan Leader. So this card's kind of probably lead is probably going to be the strongest leader of this set. Um, when you play something, give it five k. If it has fifteen hundred or more, draw a card. Same on this side, but of course, you when you attack, you draw as well. So we're halfway through. It's kind of getting a bit tiring. Start pumping through it. Pint size warrior. This is look at the top seven at a GT to hand. Oh, we got a foil leader. So this is like the Dr. Miyu. It's like on this side, it like um, uh, you can choose one card. Machine mutant five hundred uh, five thousand or less. Play it. That side's just the same, but um, you can play it with a ten k. So like all the all the um, the small things, they just search each other out. And we've got Boo Leader. I don't really like Boo Leader. This side, you um, when you attack, you chuck something under it. And then same on this side, but you can drop five cards from under this and then swing again. I don't really like it. Might, might see play, but not enough. Ape, Android, Bodyguard. Uh, and we've got Rampaging 
great ape, Son Goku. Critical blocker, um, but when you evolve into this card, you can tap on your opponent's energy. It's kind of strong, but at the same time, I don't really think it's too strong. Alrighty, I think I saw something shiny back there. Might have gone through every single card, except for all the SRs. Hey, Bardock. So when you play this card, um, so you have to evolve it over a Bardock. So you like do all the other Bardocks. Um, when this card comes onto the field, you can send all your opponent's cards to the warp. So this gets through, um, this gets through uh, barrier because it's not choosing everything. It's actually just sending everything. So it's a bit, a little bit different. So still got two SRs to go and definitely a lot more rares. Quick attack, scheming, crap, new 10k combo. <laughs> I swear to god, like someone's just gonna sell all these as like foils. Like a whole foil set for like 20 bucks. I'm, I don't even want to wrap that, that can just stay in the naughty corner. And there's no point wrapping that, we've already got one of these. SRs. So I kind of want, I, I really want Foo. Like Foo's really neat. Foo's pretty much, um, it's an overrealm for six, but you need to have 10 cards in drop. And um, when it comes out, it negates all your opponent's abilities, except for leader, for a whole entire turn. So that's your turn and their turn. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, this card's just like, um, when you evolves, it draws two. So it's like, Pretty much a crap Vegeta, because the other one just doesn't have to evolve. But it's red. I guess red's okay. I also really like the, the card arts for these, and like the, just the fronts of them. Great Ape, Android, Topo, Pancake Pump. But yeah, I feel like Black Trunks will be seen in the meta a lot. Hey, King Vegeta. So, uh, permanent. So this is double. This is what's gonna run um, the monkey decks. So pretty much, um, it gives all your Saiyans in your battle area uh, barrier. So it gives like everything. Like you know, things that don't have barrier now have barrier. So like this would have barrier. Um, and it makes all of your saint is it saints or great apes? All your saints um, in your hand have a combo cost of one uh, one less. So it's kind of really strong if you think about it, because like there's a few cards that like draw when you combo with it that are saints, especially like just dropping that turn five and just defending is good enough. Let me start smashing through these. Hey, hey. <laughs> there's that mirror I needed. So um, the, you evolve this over a, um, a mirror, but it goes to the warp, so it still stays on the field because it's a different card. Double strike, um, when you play this card, you choose up to, if you have five cards in your warp, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, send it to the warp. And then um, if you have 10 or more, you choose one of their back row, like their life, not life, um, energy, and send it to the warp. So it's like a really pressuring card. Boo, Bergamo, 10k, god. <laughs> Thinks he's the best Hercule. Best card in the game, right? Best yeah. card in the game. And we got a reliable Trunks. Yeah, it's just a draw one card and choose up to one of your red leaders and gains 5k. I don't even want to sleep that. We can stay in the naughty corner too. So this is the card that's going to help everyone evolve their this card <laughs> early. I think it, it is this card, isn't it? I don't know. 10k, boob, har 
our flying Nimbus. I think I see something shiny in the back. Not really. Just another one of these. Straight from the already corner. Alrighty. Down to our last three packs. Alright. Bardock. Scythe. Like, this is okay. It searches a um, Zamasu when it comes on the field. Uh, I just want this food. Like, that's all I want. Baby, this thing's the, like the worst rare ever. So, one of these has to be Nessa. Has to be. I think it's six, and then you can choose, like, get one of these if you want. And just praying for that foo. Oh, it's shiny. Hey! I actually haven't really read over this, so it's an overrealm for four, but cost two. Um, double strike when you play this card using overrealm, choose up to one of your uh, battle cards in your warp and add it to hand. So it's reusing everything. All right, and we'll just smash this out because we know there's no other SRs. Let's go straight to the back. Oh, what? We've got an extra SR in our pack. Far out. Is that right? Yeah, seven, and then we got this. So this is um, the new 10K combo uh, like piece where if you combo with this, it brings a Saiyan out and brings out this, and this will pop something that's rested. So it's really strong. But yeah, um, you know, this is probably all crap. But yeah, didn't get any god packs, but oh well, you know, we've got a pretty f good pull. And yeah, that's it for the videos, guys. I know it was a little bit harsh that, you know, we had to do this at a really bad time and we were waiting on everything, but yeah, that's it for the video. You know, pulling this first try, that was, <laughs> that was insane. <laughs> but yeah, um, tell us what you think about everything. Tell us what you think of how the format's gonna, you know, fold out. And yeah, I guess we'll see you in the next video. There's going to be a lot of deck profiles coming soon. I got my mirror deck profile. I've got a boo deck and androids. And yeah, that's it for the video. See you guys. Yeah, that's sexy. Holy.